Hey guys, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, so we are here in camp and it is the morning. Arthur had a good night's sleep. He is feeling fine again. <laughs> so it's all fine. So, we have a main mission here in camp that I'd like to do today. This one here. The fine art of conversation. Trelawney needs to speak to you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, and there's actually two missions here that just opened up. Uh, Hamish invited you to go hunting with him at his cabin. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did do that. And there is Charlotte again, another mission. All right. Yeah, I really want to do it all. But first, let's do this main mission here because it's right here in camp. So now that we are here, let's do this one. Yes, Arthur. Have a seat. Hi. Glad you're here. Reverend. All right, there you are. Josiah. I um I was uh leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this right. man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Maybe we should have a shave before going, Arthur. I forgot about it, but it's fine, it's fine, let's go. <laughs> so, snowball. Let's go. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Oh, thank you for doing this. Are we going this, this way? You, you have oh, already done nope. so much. Oh, excuse me. Ain't a problem. Me. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to 
An agreement. Okay, here we are. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, oh. Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh... I'm sure they do. <sighs> Listen. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me Oh, marry. are there? <coughs> no. Are you okay, man? No. Someone. Jackson, take him away. <sighs> Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, it's just getting worse all the time. It's so sad. No, no. you know he's going to have Monroe court martial. Oh, we can get up. Or attempt Let's to. Let's get up. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe. He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah, come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <coughs> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh. Is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Don't get away with this. Uh, okay, Charles. back away to your horse. Okay, okay, let's do it. Now, we're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Do I have to shoot? You son of a bitch. Think about what you're doing. Just let him go, okay? Ah, oh my god, oh my god, do I have to shoot? No, yes, no. Ah, I jumped off my horse. No, ah. I'm scared. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. I'm sorry, snowball. Look out behind, the pets it up. 
Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, just like that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! I guess I have to leave my horse here. Oh no! Come on, Captain! Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I swore no. Okay, so they are there. Let's see now. I have my rifle here. Yes. Oh, he's hiding, he's hiding, but he's there. Oh, you should. Uh, yes, okay. So, now they're coming from here. Oh no, oh no. Ah, we need to be behind What's here somewhere. Here. Here. Find a love, then make for the valley. Oh yeah, come out there. Oh, oh someone else got him. Just <laughs> hold! Ah, there we go! And wow, so many. So many. Maybe should you lose a dead eye here? Uh, oh my god, what did I do? I need to... I can't get them. Oh my god, because I'm behind the rock here. What? I don't know what's happening. Ah, I can't get them. <laughs> no, that's so bad. Oh no. But at least we got two of them. Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> oh, what? Ah! Yes. Our hat is gone. Someone shot our hat. I need to find a new one. This was meant to be a truce. Oh, yes. I'm gonna count that. Just winged up. Oh, he's alive. Now or never. Let's go. Okay. Captain Monroe, you're yeah. Me. Okay. Let's go. Okay, there we go, there we go. Can I shoot? Okay, yes, there we go. I actually did it. <laughs> it. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Probably get on this train. <coughs> we came at the perfect time. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I 
fear of maybe Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guarma. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Guarma, yeah. Don't go there. I'll meet you back at camp. <coughs> okay. <coughs> no, Arthur. Oh. Uh... Oh. Reverend. What are you doing here? Um. I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes. I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's. He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I've felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Oh, there he goes. Mission complete. We are here at Emerald Ranch. Okay, okay. So, uh, from here, maybe, maybe we should just go up here and do this uh, hunting with Hamish. Yeah, okay, yeah. My temporary horse is in Rhodes. What is it doing there? <laughs> I actually. I didn't know it was there. I had no idea. I was wondering where it was. Uh, but yeah, I I do want to do these missions here before I go to the next main mission. Because I don't want to miss out on them. So I will do them right now. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. So we are back here at the cabin. I really, really like this little cabin here. I would like to live here. It's such a nice place. So, oh, it started raining. No, did it have to start raining right now? We're going hunting. There he is. Irish. Arthur, <laughs> come in. You said uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this. You she-wolf been stalking me the last few Ooh. nights I've been out, but she can wait. Let's talk a while. Sure. Oh, yeah. 
So what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. Funny, I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. We must have been talking for a while. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Oh yeah, because it's it's already it looks like evening and it's not raining. Come on. She went around on the left. All right, all right. Down Let's go. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared though. Can we do this without any problems, around. please? <laughs> Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? <gasps> yeah. Let's go around it. Okay, okay, I'm with you. Easy. Let's do it, ass. <laughs> We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Oh. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was her dinner. Now, where'd she get to? Hmm. Could she have gone so far? I don't see her anywhere. Wait, I can't get on my horse. What are we doing? I guess she's gone somewhere over there. No, there's a whole lot of over there. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah. There she is. Oh, That's there. All right. She must have been behind you a tree some or something. Oh, if we got to chase her. Let's, Let's do this. Chase her. All right. Come on. She's headed into the wood. We're gonna have to track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, girl. There's a wolf about. Oh, the horse understood? Oh, so you cute. You went in there, all right. <laughs> we gotta track her. Now, you wanna take the lead, or shall I? Uh, I will follow. I'm a little bit scared. It. That's all right. <laughs> okay, I'll track. So that way, all right. Stick to me. Yeah. <laughs> Got the trail. This way. I'm sure he's a better me. hunter. Let's take this slow. It's going so far. Oh my god! It's going all the way. Uh, there. Is she there? In the back? Or is it just a rock? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I think we're close. There! Hey, there! Right there! Is that the she-wolf? So it was, yeah. Is he gonna shoot or or uh I don't know. Should I do it? I can't shoot, it keeps like going to 
Him. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. What? There's more! <laughs> what? How did they not die? It's either so bad. I guess it is, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, condition is bad. We don't have time to maintain it right now, though. We, we have uh, a shotgun here. Okay. Let's go, let's go. No, he actually died. Oh no. I should have changed the shotgun earlier. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go with the shotgun here then. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Somehow. I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? What? Damn. There is Over more. Here. Ah! Oh no, oh no, Arthur! Break free on circle! Ah! <gasps> We're fine! Somehow. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. That's probably more Proud somewhere. Proud but... thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they wow. They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. But it's getting dark. We'll likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't either. <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. All right. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. Oh, nice. So long. Good wolf pelt. Nice. I think all the ones who have gone before have been really bad. That's cool. He could speak the stories he tell. So I'm guessing we're gonna meet him again. Yeah. All right. So now that we're up here, uh, should we go to Charlotte next? Here it is. I mean, actually, maybe I need to go home. In in between i don't know let's see uh no it's probably shorter to just go here like this yeah then go to go home down here and then up there yeah so i'm just gonna go directly there then all right yeah i'm a little bit sad about this mission here the herbalist <laughs> i feel like because it's here i want to do it but i just i feel like i can't because i really don't know what herbs he wants and stuff so uh yeah it sucks to see it here all the time <laughs> and i can't do it oh well yeah but let's go up oh my god what did we do i don't know are you fine snowball yeah. let's go Uh, every time. Snowball, you're fine. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh. No. What am I doing? I wanted to brush. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snowball. Alright, there we go. <sighs> it, it really happens every time. Every episode, this happens at least once. <laughs> Where am I now? Am I getting there? Oh, it still is pretty far. Alright. Okay, let's, go, let's go. Oh, there's people oh. here. Hey there. Hey there. What? What? Stay back! This here's a private affair. 
Um, I, I, I should have helped her. But I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared that I will die and do something wrong. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. <sighs> what? My honor went down from not helping her. Okay, I feel really, really bad now. That's bad. Oh no. What is this place here? What is this? Uh... Doven Hill? Or Dover Hill? <laughs> A lot of lights in there. Huh. Oh! 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 Okay. I, I think I'm just gonna leave. Alright, so here we are. Oh, she's sitting out there. Reading a book. Isn't it too dark? Or she's writing? My, my. I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh no, I didn't mean it. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Aww. <laughs> Please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Oh, really? Really? Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Is that everything? Hmm. I guess let's go in and look around a little bit. I don't know. I don't really want to take stuff from her though. <laughs> There's some cigarettes, but I guess we already have. We're full with those, yeah, because I can take those. Alright, what else is here? Search cabinet, really? I don't know. If that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna close them. Yeah, there's nothing there. Maybe we will meet her again. I hope we will. Alright, let's see. Let's go back home and rest. Alright, so... What we can do now is go down to Saint Denis. Oh, this one is showing up again. Henry Lemu. Um, Sadie is here, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go to Annesburg and use the stagecoach. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. This is it. All right, so we Appreciate are here. You, uh, see you around. Morning, dear. So I need to greet people, everyone I see, you know, because I need my ah, honor to go up. Yep. Clear the way. Hi. Hi there, Hi. Mister. Hi, everyone. Morning, partner. Nice to meet Face. you. Looks familiar. Oh. Is someone there? Anything to oh. spare for a blind man? Let's give him some money. Mm. Uh, there, 50. Oh, is someone there? there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Oh. Oh, you can steal the money. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> not gonna do that. 
I can see that there is a stranger here. A bright bouncing boy. What is that? Let's go. Oh, the oh Henry Lemu is already gone again. <laughs> I guess it's something that only shows up at night time. It must be because yeah, now it's a morning and it was night time last time I checked here. So yeah. But let's see who this other let's see who this other stranger is here. Hey there, Mister. Please don't kill anyone. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Hey, partner. Hey, mister. Our honor has gone up a lot already, so it's what the hell's your problem? Is it here? Wait, what? Oh wait, I think this is what I last time I remember last time I was in Saint Denis I tried to go for this quest and then it just didn't uh, show up anymore when I were here. So it's here. Ah. Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> Hi there. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and uh. slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways ah. oh. <laughs> I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Oh, Check really? Check if there's any fun business. <laughs> no, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Oh, we have to shoot. Yes. Accelerate. Now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid what? the sea mines. A bird just they have died. Magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay. Ah! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified Oh no, we're too close to it. And I have ah, certificate. Ah, ah. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Ah, now okay. tell it to do closer to battleship working? and shoot with <laughs> torpedo. Watch the mine. Come on. 
You see what he does? Ah, the mines are coming for me! They're coming for me! The only system underwater? Only waves in the air! Oh my god. This is hard! Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Busatani. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box. There we go. Shoot, 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 fire. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned yes. killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breed like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There's only one more, so let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, oh, I already no, did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That yeah. sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, okay. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Can we do it? They are moving now, so that's... The steam train. The yes, okay, the okay. Car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. Okay, we are okay, not okay. reliant on wires or gasoline. We just need to be careful to not just shoot at the boat there with the, the people air. in it. <laughs> like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course, but. What a thing to fund! What an up! Look who rules the seas! Very good! Very good! Now bring in the boat back here! Is there gonna be more? Undeniably fools! This was already hard but enough! You are not fools! <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you! What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir! It's incredible! No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. Oh. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, okay. I hope you will forgive my... Dover Hill. That is where I just was earlier. I found that place. So that's where he lives. Okay. All right. Oh, so maybe we will go there later for a visit. Here, up all the way here it was. Yeah, it's pretty far. I'm sad that I didn't do this earlier. I could have done that. This mission here today, maybe or on earlier actually then but oh well it is what it is it's fine so i think here this is where i'm gonna end this episode and in the next one we can continue here with the main mission thank you so much for watching bye